Good morning, everyone. The stories want to come back at you with an, an unboxing. Yes, you see, uh, I put a pre order in a couple months ago and it finally came. Ah, uh, they don't mind, but I know. Now, I should probably be unboxing this with a box cutter or even just a kitchen knife, but well, this is what I have on hand. And it works pretty good. And they don't call it a church key for nothing. Why do they call it a church key? I wonder if it's a joke about how it's a drink. Or a drink opener. Okay, just making sure you can't see my uh, address on there even though I'm moving in a couple of weeks. Oh, uh, here we go. Uh, behold, Dinky the Dinosaur from Fallout New Vegas. This is a model, or a statue of the Dinky the Dinosaur statue. Well, okay, this is a figure of the Dinky the Dinosaur statue from Fallout New Vegas. Now, what is Dinky the Dinosaur? Dinky the Dinosaur is... Uh, okay, so Fallout New Vegas obviously takes place in the post-apocalypse. So anything that existed in the, quote-unquote, you know, in the time before the war, or before nuclear Armageddon, is called pre-war. So this is a pre-war uh, 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 tourist trap attraction. A giant T-Rex that's got, well, a T-Rex statue that's got a little gift shop in, in this tail stomach section there. In the post-war, in the post-war, modern, the uh, current time period of Fallout New Vegas, it stands guard over the city of, well, the, the, the town of Novak which is a small community with uh, that's mostly known for its, for its motel. In fact, the town gets its name from the No Vacancy sign, where only the N-O-V-A-C still light up. Novak. That is a very cute naming convention. Um, the only other city I can think of that uh, has a similar naming convention is the town of Arafu in Fallout 3, which gets which uh, being set in an overpass gets its name from the careful while merging uh, sign from the from the on ramp. Uh, it, it also shares the name with the town that Dracula called home in, or with the town near Dracula's castle in Bram Stoker's Dracula, which has to do with the fact that the town is the start has the start of a quest revolving around vampires. That aren't really vampires, they're just cannibals who choose to only drink blood because that's better than eating people. I don't know. Anyway. But Bethesda Certificate of Authenticity in Fallout New Vegas, Dinky the T-Rex Statue. Year completed, 2023. Took a while to get to me. Approximate size, 9 inches. Medium polyresin. Edition size, 800. Sean Tilton? DPI Merchandising, Inc., 3D Artist Director. This item is a custom made product by DPI Merchandising, Inc. for Bethesda Gear Store. All copyright and reproductive reproduction rights retained by Bethesda. Item cannot be reproduced unless given written permission from the copyright and trademark holders. And you got the Bethesda logo on the back. Now, we're moving in a couple weeks. So this guy's not going to be leaving the, the box for very long. I'm just going to take him out for a bit to show off and talk about the game. I've talked about New Vegas before. Uh, it's the... Come on. Come on, sweetie. Son of a man. Get out, you son of a lizard. 
I, I hate styrofoam. I wish they had done some other medium. Styrofoam is so messy. There we go. Okay. And of course they take it all around the side. I hate tape. This was $125, I believe. I can't quite remember off the top of my head. I might be confusing it with the Tali No Zara statue that is behind me that I have, that I re actually did record a thing for back in 2022, but I don't know if I'll ever post it. It was incomplete. My plan was to get someone to do editing for it, and that never, and that kind of fell through. Um, and also her hand broke off. Anyway, okay, come on in. <clears throat> Why is it? For some reason, it doesn't want to come out of this part. Okay, come on. Oh. oh, be very gentle. Look at that. Isn't she beautiful, folks? Here we go. Dinky the T-Rex. Herald of the Dino Delight Hotel. Motel, sorry. Number 158 of 800. And he didn't think it too many. As you can see, he's just that, like, really wonky, funny, like, you know, 1930s to 50s era design of a T-Rex. Where it looks like, you know, it looks like a dude in a rubber suit almost. And then, I don't know if this thermostat was supposed to work in-game. Obviously, it doesn't work in real life. Because there's no way it's the it's the Mojave Wasteland. Here, it's, uh, that it's the Mojave Desert and nuclear apocalypse. And it's only, you know, 40-some degrees. Oh, this guy does feel pretty cold. But I could almost buy that that's the real temp of him right now. Hmm. So, as you can see, um, he is a... Fairly accurate model of what we see in game. Not quite though, because the actual Dinky has a has a hatch in his side that you go into to go to the gift shop in his stomach, and then his mouth is actually where uh, the the town guard stands. So there's two town guards, a, a day guy and a night guy, and all they do is stand. Watching over the town with sniper rifles. Uh, they were ex-military rangers with the New California Republic, NCR. Um, and, uh, after they, after they got out of the rangers, they went, they went to Novak and settled down. One got married. His wife got kidnapped by a gang of slavers. And, uh... He, Literally, the first time you meet him, you get a quest from him to help him track down the person who sold his wife to the slavers. This is a very hefty piece. I was, I'm surprised by the heft of it. Like, to give you an idea, Liberty Prime back there is probably a bit taller than this guy and has a base and everything and isn't nearly, and doesn't feel nearly as heavy. Um,. I will also say I'm a little worried about the, I'm a little worried about the arm placement and stuff. Like, that is, like, this, right, the, these arms, uh, they feel pretty, they feel pretty sturdy, but I do worry that, like, if something bad happened, they would instantly snap off. I would have preferred it being, like, right up against the chest. 
But, I don't know. Maybe this was the best they could do. This could also be based on the, uh... Because, like, there's, al there's also Dinky the Dinosaur toys in the game. That you can... Well, not... Like, they don't serve a purpose. They're just funny knickknacks to find. You know, the sad thing is, like... Because he's so damaged... Or, well, because, like, there's so much, like intentional, like, wear and tear on here. You, you can kind of hide the seams, but they're pretty easy to spot when you do see them. And unfortunately for Dinky, I can see a big one right here at his shoulder. But, you know, he's a good piece. He's a good piece. I especially love, like... And, and this is something you see a lot with, like, a, a more... with really nuanced uh, mini painting. The top of his head is sun bleached which it would be you know plaster or whatever he's made of in game would bleach in the desert sun over two, especially over 200 years i mean heck 200 years it's it's a miracle the dinosaurs even still up um he's just a cute wonky boy he's just a chunky boy very blunted uh, uh, spikes on the back. He kind of looks like Reptar from Rugrats now that I'm looking at him. Did it? I know you ever watch Rugrats. Is that what the is that what the people like? Um, no, but like Dinky is that Dinky is like the is a welcome sight on a very long road. To give you an idea about how New Vegas goes, especially for first-time players, you your character is shot and buried in a shallow grave uh, a, a few miles outside of Vegas. And the short way back to Vegas, where the guy who shoots you goes, has been cut off due to it being infested with monsters. So you have to go the long way around. You have to go down past uh, Prim, which I believe is a real city, Circle around Nipton, which I believe is another real city, and go up that way. So, Prim is overrun with escaped convicts, armed to the teeth with dynamite, uh, guns, want, the leader is a flamethrower. It's just absolute garbage. And then there's several raider gangs, raiders, you know, typical like wasteland bandits, dotting the road to Nipton, and to Novak after that. Um, the Nipton has been burnt to the ground and its residents uh, crucified by the aforementioned slaver tribe, the Legion, who basically model themselves after the Roman Legion and wear hockey pads and wield machetes, pretending to be legionaries. Um, and... Yeah, it's... You know the lottery by... Oh, Lord, who was... Not Vir, was it Virginia Hamilton who wrote the lottery? Basically that. Basically that happened, except, like, it was more like a traditional lottery in that instead of the person whose name was drawn being killed, the person whose name was drawn got to live. And then everyone else got beaten murdered and enslaved, depending on when their number was called. And then after that, you have to deal with more Viper, more of the Raider gangs, uh, along with saddle charge, or, er, like, m mines and stuff along the road. And then after all of that, you finally see this dinosaur just standing there proudly in the sun, and you're like, oh, thank God, civilization. And then you stumble upon a murder mystery, and also who's mutilating this guy's Brahmin, and the town crazy, a man by the name of Nobark, who uh, will tell you the most insane things in the game. Even though, like, he, it's weird, because, like, he... It, his whole shtick is that, like, he tells you crazy stuff, but it's also kind of true. So, like, uh, uh, you know, like, the, the guy killing the Brahmin 
is actually a uh, super mutant, which is just a big green creature using a stealth boy. And he says, it was an invisible chupacabra with a rotating blunderbuss, meaning he, he, it was a mutant with a machine, well, with a minigun or a chain gun. Anyway. But yeah, Novak is like a big, Novak is the first like big, Novak is one of three, uh, one of the big like cool things you see before you actually get to Vegas. Um, and that, that kind of has to, a lot to do with Vegas itself. It is surrounded by all this kitsch. You know, not just on the Strip, but also all the tourist traps and stuff outside of Vegas. Unfortunately, I've never gotten to go. Well, not unfortunately. I don't gamble, so Vegas doesn't really have a draw to me, but... I would go one day, just to say, like, just to do the Vegas, just to do the new Vegas trip. We'd start in, we'd start in Good Springs, then we'd go to, then we'd go to, uh, or, or then we'd go to Prim, then we'd go to Nipton, then we'd go to, uh, well, wherever Novak is supposed to be. I do believe there are several, like, dinosaur hotels in and around Vegas, so we could just try to find one of them. Then uh, Boulder City with a tour of the dam. And then finally we'd get to Vegas and, yeah. You know, eat at the, eat, eat, eat uh, long, <laughs> eat long pork at the Luxor since um, the Ultra Lux, which I believe is kind of the Luxor equivalent, uh, is staffed by cannibals. Catch a show at the Mirage. Or, no, well, what's the most rat packy hotel still in operation in Vegas? Because, like, okay, so there are four hotels in, in Vegas. In New Vegas. There's Gamora, which is the sleaze hotel. It's got all the strippers and prostitutes. There's the Lucky 38, which is not in operation anymore. That's where your boss, that's where either your boss or you take command of the strip from. Depending on if you kill your boss or not. There's, uh... The, there's the Ultra Lux, which, like I said, is the fancy place, staffed by cannibals. And then there's the Tops, which is very rat packy, You know, all the guys talking kind of a Frank Sinatra type way. Oh, and of course, I'd be remiss not to mention that there is a gang in New Vegas called the Kings who found a school of impersonation for Elvis Presley and d devoted a way of life to them, to him. They walk like the king. They talk like the king. They, all their quests are named after the kings. Um, funny story, I'd never heard the song Return to Sender. Return to Sender. I just knew it was the name of a quest in New Vegas. And... Then I was listening to Bob and Tom the other day, and they did a song called Return to Tinder. Uh, and I realized, oh, this is this must be Return to Sender by Elvis Presley. Anyway. Like I said, we're moving, so I gotta put this butt... I gotta put Dinky here away. But very soon... We'll have our new abode, and he'll get a place of honor among our, among our elite. Oh, that's why I was stuck. There was a piece of foam protecting his, protecting his thingy, protecting his thermometer. Um, I'm actually having a bit of trouble with my, with the land, with the landowner, with the landlords we're currently leaving. They say we owe them 60, we owe them March, March, we're leaving on February 15th for a new apartment. They say we owe them for March as well, and I'm like, 
Uh, well, I, uh, I want to say F you, but... Um, but, like, <sighs> they say we signed a contract, and, like, I was not really in a position to negotiate the contract when we signed it, because my house had just been struck by lightning. Uh, anyway. Also, that contract expired, so technically we are not on the hook, but... Unfortunately, I believe the notice of the, 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 the notice of evacuation or whatever you call it and reinforced the contract, so we may still be on the hook for it and Oh Lord. I can't afford to pay two two different places in rent. That's just a really awful thing that they do to you. You know, it's kicking you on the way out. And I may have almost lost my cool with them and made some accu made some white accusations that they were being racist against my cousin, who is indigenous. Yeah, I'm I'm white as sour cream, but my cousin, uh, his dad was actually a quarter Dakotan. So, no, his dad was half Dakotan. He's a quarter Dakotan. Yeah, whatever. Uh, so yeah, I maybe. Uh, so yeah, it's. Some of my best relatives are Native American. Even though I'm even though I'm a colonizer. Uh I don't know. Oh man, New Vegas has a weird relationship with uh with like tribals as well. Because like oh these there's this well, there's a lot of political theory that goes into the whole like tribalism th um, I ideology where it's like, oh, if America was deprived of... Well, if if humans were deprived of civilization, we would devolve back into tribes. And, like, a very tribalistic nature where, you know, like, a very... Uh, yeah, it's... Uh, basically, 10,000 years of evolution would be for naught. Or 5,000, however many you want to say. Um, you know, it's, it's kind of that Lord of the Flies thing where it's like, oh, these kids without, without adults would just turn into, you know, pagans in the, pagans dancing around a boar's head or whatever. And there is an argument to be had for kind of both sides, but, you know, it, it it's an argument for people more intelligent than me. Anyway, I'm covered in styrofoam dust. I gotta clean up soon. Well, first I gotta go to bed because I got work tonight. But I wanted to show this with you because I thought, like, this would be a good one before the weekend. And But you all have a good one. This is Royce Miller. Stay classy, New Vegas. I'm outie.